Kendrick Lamar claims to be a Christian, but at the same time he does music where he uses blatant profanity, has blood dripping down his forehead, anti-capitalism Marxist slogans all through his, his music, racial slurs, and radical feminist talking points. But, you know, you, you know, he's still a Christian. You know, guys, I've had a lot of people ask me about this, this Kendler, Kendrick Lamar fella who has performed in Glastonbury just a few days ago, and this is actually trending on YouTube, number 18 right there, and uh, basically what he does is he performs a song called Savior, and uh, and right at the very beginning of the video, on the on the bottom third here, the lower third, they actually put a disclaimer, very strong and discriminatory language in this video. Uh, this person has no fruit of the Spirit in their life. If the Holy Spirit lives in a person, there'll be evidence. That, that's that's for sure. And uh, so we talk about all this in our book, Calling Evil Good, The Live Christian Rock and Roll. You can get this on Amazon, the link in the description below. We explain to you the fraudulent nature of the music industry. And I even talk about uh, Puff Daddy and all these other guys in there, too. So uh, I think um, I, I think if I could put it to you this way, the, the black gospel uh, industry, the, the Christian R&B, is probably far worse off than the majority of mainstream contemporary Christian music today. Uh, it, it's, it's just infected with this far left political Marxism and things like that. Uh, it is a train wreck, and I, I really have a burden for this because a lot of people are just caught up in the modernism of men like Martin Luther King and whatever, and um, and, and it's it's a hindrance to the gospel. It's hardened them against the gospel. But let's just start off here, just go through this real quick and just show you. Kendrick Lamar, of course, is a uh, is a uh, American rapper, at one point claimed to be a Christian. Some people who are in the know on this stuff say that he is a Christian. I think even Ruslan said that he is a Christian, and I, I that that just tells me all I need to know right there. So whatever, but um, you know this. There are a lot of people out there that are debating. What, what what do we do with this guy? This guy does a Christian album, and then all of a sudden he does all this real raunchy, just unbelievable stuff. And uh, I mean, in his in his album, he says stuff like, you know, Lord, I come to you a sinner, and I humbly repent for my sins. I believe that Jesus is Lord. I come, I ask Jesus to come into my heart and be my Savior. And so begins Good Kid, Mad City, major lab, label album. Uh, there, that was that was years ago he did that but then he's doing more albums and there's the the profanities on the screen there for you i'm sorry about that but um he's he's doing just these these songs where i mean he just talks about his you know i'm not your savior and then all these people come out dancing like demons i mean what even is that what i mean i mean what what is that that that's just stupid it, it, this is not art this is the occult that's exactly what you're looking at right there. It's just stupidity. And uh, so basically he goes through and, and raps about I'm not your savior. He he uses, I mean, every every profane word that you can think of is used in this video. Um, <clears throat> you see that cross that's on his head there that he's he has? There's actually blood in that cross and it's dripping down on his face and onto his shirt the entire time. I think that's blasphemous in my personal opinion. Uh, he talks he, he talks far radical left, uh, um, you know, Karl Marx talking points, anti-capitalism, uh, which is we're, we're doing a study on that in God's Millstone and you'll, you'll enjoy that coming up in July 8th. That'll be a great blessing, and he 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 says racial slurs about black people, which is you know part of the course in a rap music. But they also calls white people crackers and all this kind of stuff, which is you know whatever. He just that's just what he does. I mean, he just like he's trying to offend everybody imaginable in this video, and then he talks about uh, women's rights, uh, which you know women have rights, of course, everybody has rights. Uh, but normally, when people talk about women's rights, they're not talking about anything that has anything to do with Bible at all. And then also, let me just say this that if you notice that this venue is nothing more than a big pyramid, third Adam Bells ought to be going off in your mind right there. Um, this this man is an antichrist. This man is is has no fruit that he's born again. Um, and, he, and at the very end, he just he just rails on women's rights. Just listen to this for just a second here. It just goes on and they on. They judge you. They judge Christ. God speed for women's rights. They judge you. They judge Christ. God speed for women's rights. They judge you. They judge Christ. God speed for that. women's rights. And uh, and just just 
what 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 do you do with this as a Christian? Well, you understand that biblically we have to under we have to realize and and test and try these spirits uh, whether they be of God. And so let's just let's just go to the book of I believe it's First John, and uh, let's just let's just type that in. I mean, try the spirits whether they be of God. Uh, so let's type in spirits in the New Testament here, and we're going to go to the book of First John and try them, see if they're of God, see if if God is in this stuff. Uh, it says there First John four one blood. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. And uh, here's one thing I want you to know. Hereby you know the Spirit of God, that every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And uh, so one thing he says right here at the very beginning that I find to be very telling about him is that he says Jesus Christ was one of the greatest prophets who ever lived. Now, listen, <clears throat> that, that proves right there that he is not born again. And, uh, because everybody's going through some... And, and I, I don't have the timestamp for it, but he says that right at the very beginning of this video, Jesus Christ is one of the greatest prophets who ever lived. Uh, let me tell you, that that's what the Muslims believe too. So Kendrick Lamar, by his own testimony, saying that Jesus was just a prophet, one of the greatest prophets who ever lived, that, that right there proves he's not a born-again Christian. He's never believed on Christ as Lord. Now, let me show you this here in the book of Romans, chapter number 10. I want you to see this. And a lot of people start arguing about lordship, salvation, and whatever. Uh, but here's what the Bible says, Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus. Okay. What that word confess mean, that's the key word there. To confess something is to agree with God about something. So if you agree with God about the Lord Jesus, uh, then you can be saved. Uh, you have to believe that Jesus has the authority and the ability to save you. That's what his lordship is, the ability and the authority to save you. A prophet cannot save you. I did not call upon the prophet Ezekiel to save me and to cleanse me from my sins and to wash me in his blood. I did not call upon Elijah. I did not call upon Isaiah. I did not call upon any prophet to save me. I came. I called upon the Lord Jesus Christ. He is deity. He is God. Jesus Christ is not a son of God. He is the son of God. Jesse Lee Peterson believes that as well. And, and I'm concerned there's a lot of people out there preaching that preaching about Jesus in the black community especially, but when you nail them down on it, uh, they believe that Jesus Christ was a prophet or a son of God, uh, and we can become a son of God too. And that is not that's, that's not that's not the gospel. That's not the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was Emmanuel, God with us. He was, he was deity. Uh, he was God robed in flesh. He became a man without ceasing to be God. That is who the Lord Jesus Christ is. And if you don't believe that, then you don't believe the Bible, and I can't call you my brother. But Kendrick Lamar, what, what do we do with guys like this? Well, the truth is, the only thing we can do is just mark them and avoid them. And I want, I want to just use my influence to point this out to people, that th this is not Christianity. The Holy Spirit is not in this. Uh, this, is, this is an entertainer who knows how to play both sides of the fence. And guys, I want to tell you right now, th there are people out there, especially in country music, I think country music is being, uh, these country music musicians are playing this card too, that they'll get up and say, by the grace of God, God. Oh, by the grace of God, we're here tonight, and, and and everybody just you know eats that up and claps and whatever. Uh, and 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 people who are in the entertainment industry, they love that religious rhetoric, but that does not mean that they're Christians. It doesn't mean that at all. All that means is that they are just throwing a bone to the religious crowd that's out there. They're scratching that religious itch, if you will. I, I find here that they will they will heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. That's what the New Testament says. And uh, let's see here, uh, 2 Timothy uh, 4, it says uh, that, uh, For the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. The test of a Christian, the test of a sincere Christian, is doctrine. They will not, the people who are, uh, who are, you know, unsaved and carnal and, and, and aren't living for Christ, they don't want sound doctrine. They don't believe that doctrine matters. I've got, uh, and I, I'm, I'm sitting on it and praying about what to do with it. Um, there are, there are prominent YouTubers out there saying that Christians should not separate over doctrine. I beg to differ, sir. I beg to differ, sir. You are dead wrong. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, meaning that they'll just set doctrine to the side. And well, you know, we love Kendrick, but you know, we know he says some things that maybe we wouldn't agree with about the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ, saying that you know that that Jesus is just a great prophet. You know, we wouldn't necessarily agree with that, but we still love him as a brother. You're a false teacher if you say stuff like that. Not sorry.
for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers uh, having itching ears. They want to hear it. And first of all, let me just add a couple things here. This this music is for stupid people. The, you know, just this is this is degenerate trash. This is garbage. This is like if you sit there and, and look this man, watch this man with blood dripping all over him, and he's up there just just spewing expletives, and people are all around him and you look at that and say man that really entertained me wow i really enjoyed that I, first of all i don't even know you're that intelligent second of all i definitely don't think that you're a spiritual person walking with christ i mean this is dumb this is this is not art okay this is the occult what you're looking at is the work of satan kendrick lamar you need to get saved bro your mind is blind and the glorious light of the gospel, 2 Corinthians 4, needs to shine unto you. Guys, for more information, go get our book, Calling Evil Good, the live Christian rock and roll, available now on Amazon. There's a link in the description of this video where you can go purchase this book, and it will be shipped to your door by Amazon. And if you got Prime, it'll be there in like a day or two, and you can sit down and read it. I got a lot of, I had an email the other day. Someone said, I sat down and read this all in one sitting. It just captivated me. And we talk about South Park, we talk about Puff Daddy, we talk about Hulk Hogan, we talk about all of them, really. <laughs> it's really good. So get the book, and it'll help you help you enjoy all that. Dr. Matters, friend, it does. And Kendrick Lamar is showing fruit he never was converted. God bless you. We'll see you later.